Welcome back to DMC TV Live. Joining me, the owner of Tucker Tweed Equestrian, Jill Tweedy. Jill, thank you for being on the show this morning. Good morning, Katie. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm very excited. Um, as we were mentioning at the top of the show, August Market is filled with so many great shows inside Dallas Market Center, one of them being the first edition of Ada, where you are showing with your Tucker Tweed Equestrian. Visit with me about your experience so far here in Dallas, and have you enjoyed it? Oh my goodness, this is my first trip to Dallas. <laughs> I am loving it. Everything that DMC has done for us as an exhibitor has been outstanding. Um, they're so warm, they're so accommodating. Everything we've needed, they have gone um, beyond our expectations. Wow. And then they're also so accommodating to our buyers. It has just been a wonderful experience. It, I'm sharing it on our social media, on our Facebook, on our Instagram. Just what a great time we're having. Oh, I love to hear that. That yeah. is so wonderful. And I know Dallas Market Center, they really do do whatever they can to make it a great experience, especially for the exhibitors and buyers alike. So let's visit about Tucker Tweed Equestrian. Uh, fine leather handbags is really yes. what you're known for. So visit um, about how this came to be in your motivation to create the company. Happy to do that. So first, it probably helps to understand the name of our company. So my full name is Jill Tweedy. I have a horse named Tucker. So Tucker Tweed is the name of our company. And my husband likes to say he's the real CEO of the company. <laughs> um, but I can tell you, we've been in business, uh, it will be 10 years in December. Wow. Um, prior to 10 years ago, I had a group of girlfriends who took me to a Women of Faith conference. They were carrying cute luggage. I'm a rider, I had practical luggage. I asked my husband for luggage for Christmas. He couldn't find any, and so he said, don't you think other women want what you wanted? Mm -hmm. And so that was really the beginning of this oh, wow. journey. A year later, I went to Lexington, Kentucky for the World Equestrian Games, and that kind of solidified what I wanted to do because I'm in this beautiful horse park, beautiful women like yourself carrying all kinds of purses, and there wasn't a horse on any of them. And so I decided here is my market, so our first purse debuted and it was called the Lexington. Wow. And then look at where we are today. Yes. 10 years later. Oh, that is, that is such a great story. So um, how does the equestrian industry and community rather really embrace your products? They have been phenomenal. I mean, I cannot be any more grateful for the way that they have embraced me. They have guided me. There were women who were a few years down the road in the beginning that would say, Jill, try this. Jill, do that. They would talk about lighting, about colors, about leather. They, you know, I had Noreen Cothran at Farmhouse Tech who said, Jill, you should do chestnut and black together. We did it. It's our best-selling color combination. Oh, wow. So they have been very supportive. And honestly, we become a family. I think of these women as family. It's like we're trying on shoes and purses together. <laughs> That's really fun. I don't think any lady would ever dispute wanting to do that with a bunch of girls. That sounds like a lot of fun. Exactly. Uh, what about new products that you are debuting this market? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. So we, have, <laughs> um, we enjoy doing collaborations with other brands, um, particularly apparel brands, because our specialty is leather goods. But Arista um, just did this collaboration with us. Wow. This is an Arista shirt. It's a beautiful sun shirt. Um, it's very cooling. It has beautiful details. Beautiful. They've added our logo to the cuff. Uh -huh. They've added our logo here. Their logo is on the back. It's just beautifully yes. done. So this is a new shirt for us. But we've also added new colors in our wristlet. We added the Sonoma over the last year, which is a beautifully unstructured, very soft, lovely tote bag, suede interior. So we add something new every year. Um, but then we also add more colors during the year. Okay. Any colors that stick out to you now? Yes. Um, <laughs> interesting because you're wearing your blue earrings yes. and your blue boots. Yes. We um, we have a sky blue. This is our wristlet, and I'm not sure if you're... Yeah, if yeah hold it up see there. This, this yes. is our Wellington wristlet, one of our top selling pieces. We offer this in 18 different colors, wow. but we've just debuted it in sky blue uh, with dark chocolate accents, and oh, then pretty. we've also brought in a terracotta, which, you know, reflects the, the change of the warm tones that are now coming into fashion. Yes. So, and then uh, we also brought the sky blue into one of our purses. Okay. Wonderful. And everyone can see that here this week at, yes. at Market. Yes. Everything we sell. There is one of just about everything we sell here. Okay. Wonderful. Well, you mentioned 10 years in business. Yes. There's probably been a lot of trials and a lot of successes yes. throughout those 10 years. Yes. If you could share any advice that you may have for folks that are just maybe getting into the business, what would that be? Wow. I could write a book. <laughs> I can tell you that there, I'm a perfectionist at heart. So there have been moments that I have sweated things in the first few years. And I can tell you 10 years later, my advice to myself would be to not worry quite so much mm -hmm. that me being a perfectionist is great as a business owner, but often my clients don't see the slight imperfections that I might see. Mm -hmm. um, 
I would also just remind people to start as small as possible and keep your your decisions just try to be as frugal as possible on the front end so that you can expand your product and um, and, and give yourself room to grow your product. Um, and then I would also remind anyone starting a business that balance is elusive. It's, it's hard to find balance, but I encourage people to lean on friends, spouses, coworkers, barn mates, <laughs> young girls riding at the barn who can ride your horse for you. Yeah. Um, reach out to people to support you and they're happy to do it. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to reach out for help. Mm -hmm. I think that's such great advice. So when you came into Dallas Market Center, um, it usually is pretty overwhelming for the first time. Mm -hmm. What was your initial reaction? And then as you worked your way up the floors to see really this marketplace come to life for August. I'm, I'm so glad you asked because <laughs> you're here. So you're used to seeing this. This yes. is brand new for me. Okay, so <laughs> this atrium is beautiful. Okay, that's the first thing I see is how gorgeous it is and it's natural light which looks amazing on people and leather yes um, and then the next thing I'm noticing is how bright and clean everything is it's spacious it's safe you have hand sanitizing stations everywhere people are in masks it's just um, it's an ideal environment for our industry for any industry that wants to present a great product to the world Good. I love to hear that. I'm so glad that your first impression has been that at Dallas Market Center. I'm, like I said, I'm obviously very biased, but I think it's the best marketplace in the country. So thank you, Jill. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you have a great show here uh, at your first showing here in Dallas, and I hope you much success all throughout the week. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Stay here.